Dr. Hubner, Natural Transplants. I'm here with Matiana, and Matiana is here for her hair transplant. And she has had a history of traction alopecia, and I'll have her talk a little bit about that. Matiana, tell us about when you started noticing your hair loss. Um, I started noticing it like about in my late teens, and then it started progressively getting worse in my early 20s to oh. mid 20s. Okay. Do you think uh, it had something to do with the way you were styling your hair? Yeah, I was getting, there was this hairstyle called micro braids, mm -hmm. where they take just a little bit of your hair and some extensions, and it was just heavy, Yeah, and it was pulling my hair. And this was as a teenager or even like the early 20s, 20s. uh-huh yeah. yeah yeah and I feel like I abused that style I did it so much to the point of yeah no return <laughs> yeah. it looked cool though but at the time you didn't yeah. know at the time you didn't realize it may have caused this yeah. in, the, in the future so all right and tell us about um, your research you know how did you even know that this was an option and tell us about how you got here well I went to work one day and I was fed up because I became a nurse uh -huh. and I went to work and I remember specifically talking to someone at work it was about professional work and yeah. I realized the person kept looking at my hairline yeah and it made me really uncomfortable yeah. so basically I went home yeah getting a hair transfer had been at the back of my mind but because of that scenario I went home and I started researching and there was a lot of things were coming up but I wasn't finding something that I could relate to and I decided to become aggressive with my research. That's okay. when I put in natural hair transfer for black women. Right. And then as soon as I did that, your information popped up and the video popped up and it sent me to YouTube and okay. I binge watched. Got it. So that started videos. the ball rolling and yes. then eventually got you here. Okay. Yes. Well, it's going to be a nice, easy day today. Uh, we're going to be doing some video clips throughout the day to show people how easy it is. You're super nervous, uh, of course, and we talked about that. Um, you're going to see at the end of the day, it's going to be, you're going to be, you know, looking back saying, I can't believe I was so nervous. So, um, oh, thank you so much for sharing your story Hi. and uh, we'll be checking in a little later. Thank you. All right, here with Matiana and we are just talked about her hairline, her edges. And as we drew this on, she got a smile on her face. She wanted to see if I could pick up the fact that she had a widow's peak in the front. As you can see, we're building in a widow's peak, nice and curvy all the way around. And you can see the temporal peak here, it's the temporal curve. So you can really see how that's going to reframe her face in a much better way than it is now with the hair. So, all right. Thanks again for showing everyone and we'll be checking in uh, after uh, the next part. Thanks. Okay, Dr. Hubner, I'm here with Mariena, and Mariena at this point has had her strip removed. She's all sewn up in the back. She'd received one Valium, so she's feeling a little tired and sleepy and kind of uh, feels good, but uh, you know, overall things are good. We haven't done anything in the front, but I wanted to show people the incision in the back. Again, we shave a little bit of hair away from either side of the suture line. But you can see how perfectly that came together all the way around, very little bleeding. She has no pain in the back, right? No pain. No pain at all right now. She's actually probably gonna take a nap as soon as we sit her back, and that's okay. So I just wanted to check up and uh, let everyone know it's easy stuff, and we'll check in again a little later. Okay, Dr. Hubner here with Matiena. We have just completed her surgery. Uh, she had a HU procedure with us for her traction alopecia. And actually, she was asleep for a lot of the surgery. Uh, <laughs> she said, uh, I was snoring, sorry. But uh, that just goes to show you how relaxing it is. I mean, you really could fall asleep and take a nap if you wanted. But uh, overall, you know, tell us how your day was. It was awesome, everybody. <laughs> the staff out there, oh, they're so amazing <laughs> good good yeah everyone here is really nice yes. I'm gonna show everyone what we've done and you can really see this is that two to three finger width area around that frontal edge 
and you can see now also her widow's peak how cool that is how that's going to really reframe her face in such a nice way all the way around here same thing each one of those little bumps that you see it represents multiple hair grafts so cannot wait to see her results and thank you again for sharing your day with everybody i'm sure this is going to help someone else in their yes. in their research it thanks was great and the next video we have of you will hopefully be one of hair again nothing's going to grow on her until about four months uh, people generally don't seem to be very happy with the density until about six to eight months and a year to get a final result mm -hmm. but patience and it will pay off and i'm very excited and thank you for sharing your day thank you Call us now, 844-327-4247, and ask about our Hue and Hue Plus procedures, which move more hair than ever before. Hope to hear from you soon.